Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a little bit of a different angle. It looks different because I am slowly breaking down my setup in this room. The bed is on the floor. I'm gonna explain that in a little bit. It is literally, it's literally on the floor. See it there? Yeah, there's nothing. It's just mattress and bed sheets. Things are a little bit chaotic for me right now because we are in the process of moving and I wanna take this opportunity to reminisce about when I got started, how I got started on social media, and how did the slide develop? I get asked that question so frequently. And honestly, I think that my house has a lot to do with it. I'm gonna talk about, finally, how I developed the slide. I'm gonna give you even a behind the scenes. I have never done that before. I'm gonna try to set this up maybe on a few boxes that I have stacked in the corner um, towards my mirror. And I will give you a behind the scenes, how I do it, how it's done, how I flip my phone up, how I hold my phone so steady. You know, when I first, first got started and I would hold my phone so steady and I still do, but I used to get so many comments about how I was holding a fake phone up and that I wasn't filming from the phone that I'm holding. And the reason why people believe that is because the camera was staying so still. And it's not that, it's just that I have a surgeon-like hand. I missed my other calling, which was to be a surgeon. I do so too, so. I don't know, I have a steady, steady hand, even though I drink lots of caffeine. So first thing I wanna do, I'm going to try to carry this camera around a little bit and show you like maybe a 360 of the room. We're gonna see how this goes. I don't know if I can hold this as steady as I hold my phone, but the lighting is gonna change, guys. Oh, there's, there's my backside. <laughs> There's the mirror that I slide into. You can see my bed is on the floor. And if I wrap around, that's my closet that I use that you don't really see in my TikToks, but the other closet right there. Oh, it looks kind of the same, confusing, right? That is the actual background to my TikTok because I'm facing my mirror now. And that's the background. I used to have a white chair in the corner there. And now I have just a bunch of boxes, the joys of moving. And then there's my ring light and my vanity. My vanity is where I did a lot of my filming, most all of my filming for TikTok when I was pregnant, because then I could actually sit. So I utilized that mirror. And then back to the mirror. That's the whole room. The room is fairly small. I can't wait to move because you guys, uh, there's gonna be so much space. So anyways, since since I'm up and standing, I need to figure out where I can set this. All right, so I am, I'm just gonna try to set the camera here. I feel like that's a decent shot and grab my phone. So this is essentially the slide. Well, you can't see my head. I don't know how good that's going to be, but you'll see that you'll see it in the reflection in the mirror. Usually I have my ring light here. It's just that I left it over there by the vanity so that I could start with some decent light in this video. But this is essentially what I do. And everyone asks if I have to like redo the slide and I will usually have to redo the slide if I mess up my words. That's really the only time that I have to redo my slide. I've kind of perfected it. It just feels like muscle memory to me now. And hopefully this doesn't like take away from the magic, the magic of the moment. Hopefully that ends up being a decent shot and it's not weird when I have to go cut it. But I also wanted to show you guys how the slide developed because I started off with stepping into screen and then I just, started sliding because it was faster and easier and I felt like I had something important to say so I wanted to get it out and I wanted to move fast so I started off just doing this I started off with a this like with a little hip action hopefully my sound ends up okay too because my sound is attached to the camera um and then it just it became a thing to just slide it was easier I wear socks 
usually year round in my house because it's cold here where I live. I live in upstate New York and I don't know. I have all hardwood floors through my house and it's comfortable to wear socks and it's easier oftentimes to slide and keep my feet in contact with the floor so that I don't slip. The other kind of filming that I really was initially going to do because I saw a lot of it on TikTok was I was going to shoot the videos in my bathroom because that's like what everyone was doing. They were doing like the opening the door dramatic entrance and I wanted some kind of cool entrance because again, like I felt like I wanted to have high energy videos. I wanted to like spill the beans and I wanted to talk about something that people weren't willing to talk about in a different kind of point of view that might have been somewhat shocking. So I wanted the entrance to be just as attention grabbing as possible. The problem with my house <laughs> is that it's a fairly decently old house and there's a lot of original stuff in here. Like the floors are all the original, the closet doors, the intercom that you guys talk about. That does somewhat work. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it today. I don't know, I messed around with it like the first few weeks I ever lived here and then I just haven't touched it. I'm kind of afraid that it'll just like send electricity to old wires and explode. <laughs> but I am gonna show you the bathroom because the bathroom is pretty much all original from at least the looks of it. And that is why I did not end up filming in there. It's really kind of ugly and the lighting is really bad. Um, but you'll see it. Also, I'm gonna show you the laundry chute. I don't know, I got some cool stuff in this house. It's, I'm gonna have some sadness for sure when I'm in my final packing phase and I'll probably make some TikToks about that. But I am gonna go out to the hallway. So there's the master that we just left. Here's the laundry chute. It does actually go down to the first level. But then after that, it's actually blocked off. It doesn't go down to the basement anymore. All right, here is the bathroom. <laughs> There's the lovely strip of like wallpaper that I have yet to remove. It's just, here's the back. Okay, this is what would have been seen. A nice, nice shower. Look at those bars, handicap bars. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not the best lighting, you can tell. All right, I don't want this video to be too long. I'm gonna go take you guys downstairs. You're gonna see the madness, the madness of packing. You can see the hardwood stairs we just, I was just on. Bins and boxes everywhere. You wanna see the boxes? Here we go. Boxes. This is where I sometimes filmed at this angle. I really liked the ones that I did here. I really liked the black stair railing. I don't know, it's, it's kind of eye-catching. This is kind of a uh, disaster room. You can see my, my recliners. It's like I'm 50, I'm not though. The table that we used to own in the little kitchen area that we have, we got rid of recently. That is a table that I've had for, I think almost 20 years. It was ridiculous. I've had dogs that have like chewed up the corners of each bit of that table. We were ready for a good size table that was new. So we actually have ordered one and we're gonna have it delivered to the new house. So for now, we get this foldable table with chairs. You can see all the boxes again out there. This is another area that I filmed in, mostly for Instagram when I first got started because this is like my workout area back there. Uh, it is like a three season room. There's not heat or air to it. So it's probably really nice out there right now actually because it's fall weather and it's just decently cool, but also sunny out. I used to have a treadmill out there too. Got rid of the treadmill, you know, cause move and all. The other really dated thing in this house is the kitchen because look at these gorgeous cabinets. 
My fiance did an awesome job in this kitchen though because there used to be hanging cabinets all the way from this corner to here. And so you would walk in to the kitchen and it would just be all blocked off there. But he took those down. He had to completely remove the set that was here as well because of it being attached to the corner one. And these are like made from scratch. So here's the old ones, old cabinets, the ones that have always been here, right? And these are the new ones, like made from scratch new ones. I told him, I think that it looks, it looks the same. It looks identical. He is critical of himself and he questions it still to this day if the color is a little bit off, but I don't think so. Look at this in one shot. They, they look amazing. All right, we're back in the room. I feel like that was just a really quick show and tell <laughs> to you guys. But I feel like those are things that a lot of you guys have asked about, you've been curious about. I did definitely wanna do the behind the scenes slide in this room. Not really the last time, the first time and the last time for showing you guys the behind the scenes, but this week, I'm going to be filming my last few TikToks in this room and it's going to be oddly sad. I know it might seem ridiculous to some of you, but I've been doing this for four years now in this room. It has literally changed my life. It has changed what I do on a daily basis. So it's hard not to be sentimental. It's really hard to say goodbye to things and places that have held meaning to me. I am, of course, taking bits and pieces of those memories. And of course, I still will always have the videos. They will always be online. They will always probably be on my phone. But it is, it's going to be hard because I'm sentimental in, especially in this room, saying goodbye to it. When I go to move this mirror, it's, I'm going to have a moment. I just know it. I know that I'm going to. The last and final slide that I do in this room, I know it's going to be emotional, but it's not the end. I am bringing you guys with me to my new house. I am going to have hardwoods throughout. I've told you guys that already. The slide is not ending. I'm taking this mirror. Maybe someday I'll be able to let this go. This will probably be harder to let go of more than an entire house, really. Like I think that this will just be collecting dust in my attic, even if I replace it eventually with another mirror. So this is it guys. Next week, if it's not too chaotic, I am going to be in the new house and you guys will be able to see it. I'll get a new setup. Maybe we'll try some different things and see what works. But until then, I wish you guys the best and I will see you next week.